In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can burn audio CD using CD Burner XP. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tech That Doesn't Bite. If you're having trouble using Windows Media Player to burn your audio CD, I have an alternative for you, CD Burner XP. Let's take a look at this tutorial on how you can burn audio CD using CD Burner XP. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to visit the CD Burner XP website and download the software. Now CD Burner XP does work on Windows 10. So all we do is you just click on file download and select the 64 bit setup. And once you have downloaded the installer, just go ahead, install it onto your computer. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up CD Burner XP. And in this option, we're going to select the type of CD that we want to burn. Now with CD Burner XP, you can burn a data disc, a video DVD, audio CD ISO image that you can burn as well. And you can also erase a disc or you can copy or grab a disc as well. But I'm going to show you how you can burn an audio CD. We're going to click audio CD. And this is where you're going to see the audio compilation window. And this is where you're going to start adding all the MP3s or WAV files, the audio files that you want to burn as an audio CD. I'm burning an audio CD, you should be able to play the CD on your car stereo, home stereo, a PlayStation, anything that should be able to play a regular audio CD. And all we do is we're just going to look for the files. You can click on add or you can also just browse to the directory of where your MP3s are. In this case, I have a couple of MP3s on my desktop. So I'm just going to drag it down. And after that, you can also use the CD text function as well. This is where you could type in the metadata of your MP3. So let's say you have an MP3 that doesn't have you know, the correct tags. You could just type it in here as well. And after that, you just click on burn the existing compilation. Now, here are some of the options that you can choose. You can either enable CD text, which was the information that we typed in for our MP3s. You can also put no pause between tracks. Maybe you want to have a pause for like two seconds between between tracks. You could do cross fade ins. So feel free to use any of those options. You can enable them as well. And I am going to ch choose the burn speed. You can choose any burn speed you like, but you know, just in case I don't want any problems with my CD, I choose around like 24 X. But again, that also depends how fast your burner is. So I'm just going to burn disc and we're going to wait. And after it's finished burning, it'll confirm that the burn was successful. And we're going to click OK. I'm going to close it and I'm going to close out the CD Burner XP window. Exit out of there. And I'm also going to double check in Windows Explorer. And there's my audio CD. So it did play on my computer, but I'm also going to play it on other devices in my house. So I'm going to play it on my PS3 and also in my car stereo as well. If you find this video useful, please smash the like button and also subscribe to our channel and make sure to hit that bell notification so you get notified of new videos. And also leave your comments below. What other audio burning software do you use on Windows? Let's get back to the video. If you want to learn how to burn audio CD or DVD on a Mac, 
check out some of the videos at the very end of this video. And I'll see you next time.